Tangu mswada wa fedha wa mwaka wa 2023 ulipowasilishwa katika bunge la taifa kumekuwa na hisia mseto kuhusu mapendekezo yaliyomo katika mswada huo. Miongoni mwa hayo ni ongezeko la ushuru wa thamani kwa bidhaa za mafuta ya petroli kutoka asilimia nane hadi asilimia sita na makato ya asilimia tatu ya mshahara kwa ajili ya hazina ya nyumba za bei nafuu. Baadhi ya wakenya na viongozi wa upinzani wamepinga vikali mswada huo lakini serikali ikiongozwa na Rais Ruto wamezidi kuupigia debe makato ya hazina ya nyumba. Welcome your excellency. Hileo, hali ilikuwa vile vile katika sherehe za madaraka mjini Embu huku rais akidai mswada huo umezua mjadala wenye manufaa kwa taifa in Kenya we have easily sustained intense discourse on the finance bill and the affordable housing policy for weeks now the debate has remained issue oriented and there is no hint of divisive ethnic rhetoric at all Rais anasema kuwa pamoja na mengine makato ya nyumba yatakuwa na umuhimu katika kubuni nafasi za ajira. Kulingana na Rais, faida katika sekta ya nyumba itasaidia kuimarisha sekta zinginezo ambazo zitakuwa ni muhimu katika kuendeleza viwanda tofauti nchini, usawazishaji wa biashara na kuleta utajiri. As we implement the housing plan not just to create jobs at least a million jobs every year it is also our responsibility to grow our manufacturing to every sector the millions of young people that will be employed in this sector is sacrifice enough for us who are employed to make that contribution to the hustler fund to the housing fund so that we can bring around the change that is going to take our country forward. Naibu wake Rigathi Gashagwa aliupigia upatu mswada wa fedha wa mwaka wa 2023 na kusema kuwa itasaidia kuondoa nchi kutoka kwa mzigo mkubwa wa deni. Katika kuunga mkono mswada huo, Gashagwa hakuvisaza vyombo vya habari alivyodai kuwa vinaeneza propaganda dhidi ya serikali ya Ruto. As they see you making practical and pragmatic interventions, they are all over shouting and bringing a lot of propaganda which is being enabled by the press and we don't mind because the press as you all know were part and parcel of the Azimio Brigade Gashagwa anampa changamoto rais kwa puuza wanaoonekana kama vikwazo na kushikilia kuwa wa Kenya hawajapoteza imani na serikali yake upinzani umeitaka serikali kuondoa mswada huo utakao ongeza gharama ya maisha Iwapo serikali haitaondoa mswada wa fedha kufikia Jumatatu, upinzani umetishia kurejelea maandamano. Lakini rais anakiri swala la gharama ya maisha limeendelea kumkosesha usingizi. The cost of living is keeping all leaders including myself awake and this is precisely as it should be. Rais analenga kuongeza mapato ya serikali yanayotokana na ushuru unaokusanywa ambao anasema utawezesha kutimiza ahadi zake alizotoa wakati wa kampeni. Martin Opio Runinga ya K24 Nairobi.